When Brendan Fraser disappeared from the spotlight for a while, there was a lot of unseen turmoil going on. Here's how his divorce played into his downward spiral. Brendan Fraser was a pillar of Hollywood in the 1990s, with his dazzling good looks, charming personality, and on-screen versatility. The actor, who appeared in comedies, fantasy films, and action flicks in his prime, was a reliable go-to star before quietly fading out of the limelight. Then came the difficulties. Fraser has alleged he was a victim of sexual assault at the hands of president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, Philip Burke, in 2003. A bitter divorce battle eventually left Fraser depleted mentally, physically, and emotionally. Fraser struggled to find work and fell on financial hard times. There's a time in anyone's career when the phone stops ringing. GQ notes that the father of three lived as recently as 2018 in the small town of Bedford, New York. In his interview with the publication, he said that his sons, Griffin, Holden, and Leland, all live with their mother, Afton Smith, in Greenwich, Connecticut, though they do visit him regularly. With three kids on the verge of young adulthood, just what exactly happened between Fraser and his ex-wife? Fraser and Smith first met at a barbecue thrown by Winona Ryder in 1993, The Daily Mail reports. The couple tied the knot in 1998 and had three children over the course of their nine-year marriage. Upon splitting in 2007, Fraser's publicist noted in a statement that the couple remained close friends, though the following years proved otherwise. The divorce became a bitter financial battle, with Smith demanding $900,000 in alimony and child support for their three children. According to the Huffington Post, Fraser was left broke and unable to fulfill his payment obligations. Fraser's trouble didn't end there. Smith claimed that her former husband was hiding nearly $9 million in new film contracts upon settling their divorce in February 2009. Fraser countered, claiming he was set to earn exactly $0 that year due to a lack of incoming movie deals, according to the New York Post. Fraser filed a request to reduce his alimony in 2013 because of a back injury, which he sustained after attempting to move a fallen tree from his home after Hurricane Sandy. As a result, the actor faced a potential decrease in income following months of physical rehabilitation and operating under the advice of not performing his own stunts. The result of this legal back and forth has never been revealed to the public, however. What is known, because court documents show it, is that Fraser was ordered to pay $50,000 a month in alimony until the death of either party, the remarriage of the wife, or until January 31st, 2019. So that means Fraser's alimony responsibilities ended a few years ago. Today, Fraser has fortunately rebounded professionally, with several roles in the pipeline, including Brothers and Killers of the Flower Moon. Most notably, Fraser plays Cliff Steele, aka Robot Man, in the HBO Max slash DC series, Doom Patrol. Though Fraser's career may be on the uptick again, his love life appears stagnant. The actor is notoriously private, but even the most secretive stars get snapped out and about with a new squeeze every once in a while. There are at least rumors about who they might be dating, but not Fraser. Since his bitter divorce battle, the actor hasn't been linked to anyone. He's far from lonely or unloved, though. Per movie web, Fraser's been bombarded with an outpouring of love and support from adoring fans, celebrating his career resurgence. The actor got a lengthy standing ovation at the Venice International Film Festival for his performance in the film The Whale. A TikToker who won a Q&A with Fraser told him, There are so many people out there who love you and we're rooting for you and we can't wait to see what you do next. Fraser humbly replied, Shucks, ma'am. 